Well, hello, it's Monday, August the 22nd, 2022. This is Progressive Planning. Quick tip number 23. Say today, today I'm going to talk a little bit about R&R. &R. And no, not, not the fun, go to Mexico, rest and recreation R&R. &R. I want to talk about roles and responsibilities. It came up in the comments section of, of a post that I was following this week. And it occurred to me that, that I probably should have taken the quick tips down this far. So we, what we did talk about so far is we have talked about a premise document. And we talked about how important a premise document was to be able to hold our turnaround, we'll call it a set of rules, to a set of rules. We talked about a strategy team charter. Thereby, the, the strategy team is accepting their role in the turnaround process. Likewise, we talked about a steering team charter, where the steering team is accepting their role in the charter. And one of the uh, ones I just sort of breezed over and didn't really go into in detail, it is also a good practice to have a turnaround core team charter. Now, when we got this series of documents, we have the teeth we need to enforce the turnaround process. But we still haven't really defined what we want everybody to do. And that's what we want to talk about today. We want to talk about the rules and responsibilities documents for the core team members. Every individual on a turnaround core team needs to have a roles and responsibilities document. And, and I was thinking about this over the course of the night when I decided that this is where I wanted to go this morning because it isn't even just that a lot of events and projects are proceeding with inadequate roles and responsibility definition or perhaps no uh, roles and responsibilities definitions whatsoever. I got to thinking about back in the day, how I watched is all the job descriptions. Job descriptions are the same thing as roles and responsibilities documents, but it would be used in like a collective agreement setting. Well, in 1990, the company I was with changed hands from one owner to another owner. And as a course of that, the collective agreement was completely rewritten and a thing I always found odd at that time, and I still find odd to this day, all of the job descriptions that I'd been so used to seeing in that document went away and never came back. So maybe there was a trend of some sort to, I don't know, get away from defining what a person's job is or defining what a role is. But here's what happens if you do not have signed off roles and responsibilities documents, how can you know that your idea of what that person's job is is the same as that person's idea is what the job is? How can the strategy team and the steering team know that the members that they've brought up and given the opportunity to participate in the turnaround team, how can they know that those people have the same definition of those roles that they have. Well, how they can do it is the steering team should be working to produce roles and responsibilities documents for every single member of the turnaround core team. Have a brilliant day. Talk to you again next week. Do not be afraid to uh, click on my subscribe button. Follow us at Progressive Plan. Have a good day.